All right, Leanne Ellington joining us now with Not Your Average Boot Camp. She's also our resident fitness expert. So she's in charge of getting us in bikini oh, shape, right? Please. Don't look. Just don't look. Yeah, okay? she's like, oh, gosh. Gosh. She's yeah, like I don't have enough time before no. the summer's over. <laughs> Not what too. I was thinking. You guys look great. You guys do. So what's on tap today? Uh, well, in previous weeks, we talk, we've talked about there's a couple different types of cardio. One uh, tends to make you really shed body fat, and the other could, if you're not eating enough and you're not um, lifting weights, could actually help you store fat. So I want the first one. Okay. okay. But then I'll you. give it to you. <laughs> uh, I have a few modes of cardio that you guys can do on your own at home without any equipment, without having to worry about going to the gym. All you really need is a stopwatch or some other way of telling time. So basically, you're taking away our excuses that we don't have time to go to the gym. The gym is closed today. The, She's no more good excuses, at that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Give me your excuse. I'll, I'll have an excuse for your excuse. Okay. okay. All right. Well, let's see it. Well, basically, we want to we want to focus on really getting our heart rate up for max at maximal intensity for short periods of time. So today, everything I'm going to show you, you could really do in under eight minutes. If you have intervals of 30 mm -hmm. seconds on, and what I mean by that is all out exertion, maximal intensity, followed by 30 seconds to a minute of rest, and basically that rest is just intended for you to get your heart rate back down and prepare your body to go do it again. Mm -hmm. And you really only have to do it four or five times, you know, less than, you know, ten, eight, ten minutes, mm -hmm. and your, your heart rate is way up. You're going to set your body in that metabolic afterburn. So where we've talked about before, for normal steady state cardio gets your metabolism up for about one to two hours after exercise. These high intensity intervals, which last, you know, probably about a third of the time, will get your heart rate up for 24 to 48 hours after exercise. So that's what we're really going for. You're saying eight minutes will elevate my metabolism. Okay, maybe I can do that. Yeah, what do I, know, I have right? to do? Show well, me. The first, the first thing we're going to do is just a simple body weight squat. It's a, it's a um, lower body exercise, but it can also be used in the calisthenics form. So what you want right. to do is you want to make sure that your toes are facing forward, feet are about a shoulder width apart. Your legs are never locked out. You want to keep a soft lock and your butt is going back first and you're squatting down to parallel. All right, you want to make sure that everything is back, chest is back, shoulders back, that your back isn't rounding and your arms coming down. Everything's up, pressing through the entire body on your way up. So if you want to take that and make it higher intensity, you're just going to speed it up, down and up. Keep it going at a fast pace. Okay, okay? thirty seconds of that. Is thirty hard. seconds, yeah. exactly. No, it really is. <laughs> and then you rest for thirty seconds. Right. Now you'll find cumulatively, round after round, it's going to keep getting harder. So you might say, right. "Oh, that first round wasn't so bad. Wait till round four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next one would be that's a low impact exercise right. because you're not off the ground. If you want to take it higher impact, you can make it a jump squat. So what you do is you simply jump up, squat down, jump up squat down. Now it's a bit higher intensity. We've added what's called the power component. So there's that propulsion. Yeah, that's going to get lot your heart higher intensity. It I is. do those it's in it's her boot camps in the morning. She does. And it takes it she from the regular squat. Afterwards. It's like 100% harder. Your quads harder. Yeah. are just on fire. Exactly. Every day. Yeah. And it sets yeah. your heart rate up everything that you want. But the great thing is, is that you can really do anything for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not so daunting. Mm -hmm. And what's the third thing? Cool. So one thing is you might uh, be reminded of elementary school. Uh, okay. we, they're called mountain climbers. So what you're going to do oh. is the great the thing about mountain climbers is your core is automatically engaged because right. just like we talked about last week, anytime you're kind of laying down, your body is directly against gravity. So what you're going to do is you want to get down in a position where your hands are directly under your shoulders. Your feet are going to, you can start out with your feet back here okay. and you're simply going to alternate one foot at a time and you can speed it up or slow it down depending on your fitness level. So you can modify these to go along with your particular fitness level. You're already okay. out of breath. Awesome. <gasps> I, I'm so impressed. I, I could not even speak the word the and do that. Good job. And you got a free class today, right? Absolutely. We're, right. we're excited. We're moving indoors to Legacy Gymnastics Studio in um, in Maitland. So we have a free class for the community, 10 a.m. All, right. All right. Awesome. Thanks All right. so much. Thanks, we'll be guys. right back with more news. Good job. I know those are...